So let's say, you know, a woman's ready to get online and start dating. And, and you know, one, one of the things out there is there's so many dating websites, you know, there's, I mean, and now there's apps, you know, there's just all these different apps that you can pick. And, and, you know, there's all these different, like little niche subcategory uh, dating websites. Wh where should somebody start? Is there a better, are, are some sites better than others? Like where, where should uh, I think go? I, it's a great question. It's a very common question, Matthew. And I, I, I think it's uh, the answer I give is rarely satisfying. What gym do you lose the most weight at? Is it Crunch or Equinox or 24-Hour Fitness or LA Fitness where I live? Which gym do you lose the most weight at? Well, some gyms do have better equipment and slightly different clienteles, but you know and I know that if you put in your effort, any gym's going to work for you. That's online data. Like, there, there are slight variations, and you could set up a free pro profile anywhere and take a look around for yourself and see which population you like best. But at the end of the day, it's never about the medium. It's about the person who's using the medium. And that, that offends our sensibilities. We, no one yells at Crunch for being fat, right? This gym doesn't work, but we all like to blame the dating sites for our, our own frustrations. It's the dating sites fault. Match.com sucks, plenty of fish sucks. Their box is filled with people. They, they don't do anything, right? So it's really how are you going to use it I don't have any loyalty to any site. I could tell you about all the sites, but you know, I put my clients up on Match because it's a big brand name. It's got a lot of people. Right? But you could go to OkCupid. You could go to Plenty of Fish. You could do that. You could you could go on Tinder. But that's online dating shallow enough. I don't see why we need to make it more shallow by using an app where you have less information. Right? He's cute. Swipe right. Text me. That's to me. That's the problem with online dating. Is everybody's disposable instant gratification, right? And if anything, my method is helping people slow down and screen people to avoid going on bad blind dates with strangers. So I know apps uh, are easy and they're passive and they take no effort and it's almost frictionless, but that's actually the problem with them. And it's hard to wean people off of something and say, no, put in a little more time, do a little bit more work. No one wants to hear that, right? But it's necessary work because I would, and again, to any woman listening, would you rather go on four bad blind dates for coffee with total strangers that you met through Tinder or one good pre-screen Saturday night date with a guy you kind of like? It's an obvious answer, but nobody lives their life by it. We all go for instant gratification. He's cute. Nope, I can do better, right? And vice versa, men, men, men as well. This is not a gender-specific thing. So um, for me, it's... How do we make online dating feel more like real life dating? That's what I try to outline in my TED talk and in my Finding the One Online program. How do we capture the magic of meeting in real life, but use this medium for it? Hmm. Well, and, you know, just going back to that question that you asked a little bit earlier, you know, which gym uh, are you going to lose the most weight at? And, you know, I think the real answer is the gym that you end up going to. You know, and if you don't go to a gym, then you're not going to lose any weight. And, and, and I think signing, that signing up doesn't guarantee that it happens either. Just because you pay your 40 bucks a month doesn't make it happen. Just signing up for a dating site, right, and just waiting for Mr. Right to descend, uh, that's, you know, it's, it's what people do. It's New Year's. This is my year that I'm going to lose weight. This is my year I'm going to find love. I'm going to sign up on a dating site. I'm going to throw out a profile, but the profile's no good. They don't log in regularly. The photo's not that great. The ability to understand the opposite sex. They don't do an active search. They don't write good emails. They don't slow men down. There's no warmth. There's no flirtation. So it becomes this almost transactional grunt work, right? Where dating is supposed to be fun. And again, men are equally to blame for it, right? I mean, if you've ever, if you're a coach, you've taken a look at a woman's inbox. It's a horror show to see what women go through, right? So, so again, no one's letting men off the hook, but you can't control men. Right? All you can control is how you present yourself to the world and the paces you put a guy through before he meets you. And it's important to make a guy do a little bit of work, right, to screen him prior to meeting him. If you don't screen him, you can't complain he's a schmuck. Right? Bill Gates doesn't sit in the office of Microsoft and have an open door policy where anybody can just come in for an interview, 
right? As long as he's wearing a Brooks Brothers suit. It's like how it works. There's a qualifying process and people need to learn to pre-qualify their dates and go on fewer, better dates, mm. in my opinion. No, I, I totally agree with you on that.